Hello YouTube. I recently built this uh, gaming uh, box for myself. Um, just one day. It's not that difficult. I just wanna uh, share my experience with you. Uh, this box is I bought from uh, MC MCM Electronics. The box um, model is like this: two 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 four one. Two zero. Uh, I use twenty inch TV inside of it, so there's a there's a plenty room uh, to put everything inside. I uh, I tried putting a PlayStation Four and Three and Xbox. Everything fits. So I'm gonna let me show you the how it looks. It has uh, four watches. You know why? Why I use this one is it's much cheaper than a pelican case. You know, there's a people uh, building uh, in a pelican case, but this case is almost five, six times cheaper than a pelican. But the quality is almost same. Uh, there's no issue with the, the case. So we open this case like this, and uh, the the lid uh, opens like back like um, maybe you know 70 or 60 uh, uh, in the back just the right angle uh, to sit front of it and play it's very you know uh, nice opening so I put 20 inch TV here I didn't open the TV I didn't you know make a mess in the, you know putting in extra panel and something and this TV is speaker is down firing, so I put more space over here, so this sound comes back to me. It uh, sounds nice like that, and it comes with this all this uh, forms full of forms. I used only one here on the top of the PlayStation, so it's good enough. And it is uh, over here. I put in in this bag. The remote and the PlayStation joystick, and this is the power cable. I used the white one. Uh, I decided to keep the white one because they, uh, it's better seen in the in the dark. You can see the lock cable, and also here comes out the speaker and headset connector. And in the you know if you put the headset here. The TV sound is turns off. It's nice to play alone. And here's a joystick and everything. It just everything and joystick and the TV remote. And when you play, just leave it everything out. And that's it. This box is very really clean. And nothing in here, and nothing blocking the, you know, air for for this PlayStation. And originally, I decided to use three straps over the PlayStation, but later, you know, just keep two is good enough. So this strap is holds very tight the PlayStation inside here, and over here the the HDMI cable and power cable, and around here there's a plenty space around the PlayStation. And everything is looks nice and clean, so it's ready to go. So I'm gonna next. I'm gonna show you how to build it. The you know the box. Uh, it wasn't hard, and if you have a the tools uh, in your hand, it's not much difficult, and it doesn't use any specific special uh, you know parts and anything. Just everything from your hardware store. This strap from a hardware store, it's sold together. It's 36 inch uh, Velcro straps. And this board is like a, a half inch. No, it's like less than half inch, the thick, you know, uh, board. Uh, engineering board. This is need to be a little bit harder. And uh, basically, in the next show, you're gonna see that what I used.
Okay. Hi YouTube. Uh, today I'm gonna uh, do my mobile uh, gaming box. I purchased this one from MCM. Uh, this is the about 15 inch and uh, 20 inch box. I'm gonna put the link and down in my video. So I'm gonna put my uh, PlayStation 4 here, but I'm not gonna, you know, open the box and make it very fancy. I'm gonna make it very easy to, you know, disassemble. If something wrong, just take it out. Everything. So I made this so four holes in here. This is the vessel hole. My uh, TV is gonna be uh, mounted in here. And in the box here, it's very deep. It's about six inch deep. So I'm gonna put some uh, holes like this, and it's gonna be the base. Uh, base also same time it's gonna make some weight that the, the TV is not gonna fall to the back this side. So on top of this base, uh, they're gonna be this uh, five plywood. It's uh, not very sturdy, but it is uh, you know, strong enough to hold and stuff. So I made a hole in here hole in here so all the pictures like this why I made these holes in here is actually you gonna I'm gonna uh, put the velcro straps around here so uh, the PlayStation if I change it later in PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 it's gonna be uh, sit on here uh, tightened with the velcro strip and I'm gonna I put the hole in here uh, to get the wires from the TV, the hole in here, uh, get the you know HDMI in power back to the PlayStation, and also I'm gonna make a hole uh, using this. You know this is uh, on the usually you find it on the table. I'm gonna put it here so the main power uh, line is gonna come out from here. So I'm this is the lead. You can put it there. It's Looks nice. I'm gonna show you the the uh, video after I put my PlayStation. Yeah, I made the made the hole in here. So this is a hole for the cable is gonna come out. Uh, okay. And gonna be sitting here like this and I have only two velcro right now but the one velcro is gonna come out like this uh, to make a more tight but when you're playing when I playing this side velcro is gonna be open to let the air fall of the back back to the PlayStation I'm gonna put the PlayStation. I'm gonna show you again. Okay, here's the PlayStation seat like this, and it's very really tight. You know, it's no moving. But still, I'm gonna put the one uh, Velcro here. Basically, this thing is, if you take it out, just you know, open like this. And if it's loose, tighten it like this. This is two inch Velcro, and it's very really strong. I got it from Amazon and you put it there now when you hit it put it like this they have, have enough space here so you can put the DVD into the PlayStation and I'm gonna put the also con controller here with the bag so it's not gonna hit each other and also gonna put the, some headset here the headset outlet from comes the frame the same hole from here and over here I'm gonna take out the HDMI and power to the PlayStation 
So it's gonna be like this. Uh, I'm gonna show you the next video. No, I mean uh, later putting the TV and everything and how it's gonna look. I'm gonna paint this uh, with the black the paint. I have a leftover uh, spray paint. This is uh, called track bed coating. It's really, uh, you know, like texture it it's really good paint it's like a track bait you know so it's gonna be black all the way black but before that I'm gonna show you how, how I made this all the holes and stuff what what tools I use basically making this hole you drill two sides on over here then you're using this oscillation tool cut through these lines you know and it's gonna be clean and cut when you make cutting make sure you hold it like straight like this then it's gonna be a line is gonna be clean but the first I was holding is you know sideways like this so it wasn't so good if you keep it like this the lines is gonna be straight and easy to cut and uh, this holes of course I use this <coughs> Uh, this tool, uh, wood drill tool, make it hole like this. And about this a bigger hole, I use this uh, special tool to make a uh, you know. This is uh, you can find it in the hardware stores. It's used to make uh, holes in uh, you know lock holes and stuff. Yeah, that's it. So some sanding when you cut the board. So, you know, uh, so on something. Okay, I'm gonna show you that uh, later painted board. Okay, I'm gonna use this spray paint. You know, spray painting is uh, the technique is you keep the distance and uh, so it's, uh, you know, barely touch the surface. So you're not supposed to paint once all the board paint one coating one time doesn't matter it's you know uh, even or not and later when it's dry put the second one if you uh, paint build up you use some towel just quickly wipe it out so the uh, paint is going to be clean and even okay i painted the uh, first coat you can see that one some areas is darker and some areas is you know barely painted but it's okay because it's a first coat and this is a wood uh, that's why the, the paint is gonna be you know uh, swollen from the by the wood so we're gonna uh, wait till it's get dry okay uh, before putting the board I'm gonna screw this uh, from the from the bottom so I'm gonna use this flat head screws with the of course washer so it's not gonna uh, you know print you know break that uh, this wall and I suggest you don't use this kind of you know uh, head see this head is it's gonna go through the the, the wall this is bad okay this is good because this is flat it's gonna sit in the bottom it's not moving and you know it's not breaking the wall also here I made this hole like this it's uh, made a hole so cable is gonna be come out like this cable go up on the top and this way so this area, this area is gonna be used for all cable uh, going to sit here. So the board on top, no cable to show up, it's gonna be clean. Okay, before putting this one, see this, I made this edges like this, uh, kind of round. So it's gonna sit uh, tight in the corner. And I'm gonna put the 
screw in the middle of this, uh, you know, in here, so it's gonna look clean. Now, before that, before putting your screws, I suggest you to drill first uh, through this uh, hole uh, and through the your wood, to not otherwise this wood is gonna crack. So let's drill it first. Okay, I put the down base. Uh, basically, I made only four drills in on the in the middle of the holes, legs I made. So I'm gonna paint it with the black paint and later. And inside, I just put them the corner. Uh, break something like this so it's gonna be not loose and here I put the two coats and it's ready to put it on let's put the, the whole adapter here yeah it's tough okay, anyways and now it's gonna come gonna go here like this okay and this guy this guy covers like this oh, a little bit I need to put a little bit paint over here to make it black other than this it's ready to go so before I put uh, my TV on the uh, on the box this is the cable for power this is HDMI uh, eventually I'm gonna put the audio for a speaker uh, I mean a headset cable over here but before that I'm gonna use this uh, you know tube box uh, I mean flex tube to put it together here and cover it with this one like this so it's not gonna move and you know gonna be fixed and look nice okay here you go I put it on and it's not moving and cable here so it's gonna lose move loose but it still is not gonna get out from the, the tube yeah I'm gonna put it there now it's uh, I put the, my TV in the in the, on the lid, so it's gonna be closed like this. The four volts, and you make sure you measure very good. Otherwise, you know, misaligned TV is gonna look very ugly. I almost did two times. So I have a 20-inch TV here, uh, 7 720p, but you know, from this distance you don't see any difference in that even it's in 1080p or 720 and this cable is gonna be get inside here mm, okay i'm gonna put the playstation in and i'll show you one more time here we go the completed game box let's open it TV is here and this form is uh, protecting when you carry stuff so inside nothing uh, messy you take it out you take out the cable uh, I should use the black cable but I had only this one I can change later so that's it so ready to go Very clean. Oh, I need to put the lid on. When I try to push it down, I crack it. But the lid is making it look nice. Okay, next, I'm gonna turn it on. I'll show you. There you go, the turned on version. I put the lid on, looks very really nice. And I see this cable, it's neat. No messy cable. 
Just two cables here. You, you can put it back if it's too long. Put it back, and that's it. You know, very clean and simple. You know, you don't need to uh, open your PlayStation, make it mess. Uh, you know, hitting and stuff. And everything is gonna be. There's one really open area here, space here. So I'm hoping no heating or nothing if i want to change the playstation now i just take it out and put the playstation 3 or xbox whatever it is there you go okay thank you for watching tv tv sits really nicely in this you know in the cover there's no uh, uh, extra out it's not out of the, you know, uh, casing. I just got a new TV here, it's 20 inch. It's down fighting the sound, so the sound. I put the PlayStation 3 uh, to show. So it's gonna be sit like this, just exactly the same way. And in addition to this, I put the TV in the middle. There's a space over here because this TV is down fighting. So basically the uh, sound is bouncing back to me, which is the, you know, it sounds better now. So, just addition. Thank you.